Um, the film was written, uh, it was based on a short story that oh, my right. father wrote. Oh, wow, incredible. Yeah, but he wrote it a long time ago um, in the 70s. Right, okay. And, and I think it's a little bit more significant today. Well, that's what I was going to say, because it seems like such a modern story. Like, I was going to... Obviously, production on the film began before any of the political goings on in the West right now. Not to go into, so not going into specifics, uh, but I thought it was a brilliant metaphor for you know like how small choices, it's like your choices, can have massive impacts. Like, so what was your father's idea with the story then? Well, he's more. He was. It was the '70s, and a lot was going on, and uh, he's very concerned about mob rule right, and the idea okay. that a democracy could shrivel up and become just a bunch of people following a leader without knowing why. Right, okay. And were there any challenges in actually shooting? Because I was wondering while you were, how, on the, did you actually film on a bus then? Or? Yeah, we rented two buses. Right, okay. And um, the big challenge to get the production off the ground was how we were going to tow a bus and have an actor drive it. Right, okay. And finally I just decided I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to make the movie, so we just rented two buses and the bus driver that came with a rental was the bus driver. Oh, really? Yeah, so and he was great. He was, was the best actor ever, and uh, his name is Law Davenport, and he was my bus driver for three days. Oh, really? And was he surprised when you were like, hired a bus, and then you are like, oh, yeah, by the no, way, you're he, also... No, he got a heads up. We actually, right. you know, we had to wardrobe him and um, talk to him about his lines and stuff. He only, and we made sure he only had one line. Right, okay. And we did that one line off on a side street. Right, okay. And then everything else was just his driving and his eye looks and turns and spatial gestures, but everything was while he was literally driving through traffic in Chicago.